Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. And I thought I'd do another little video. I've done a video kind of similar to this, but I found this to be really helpful to bring in these flyouts. So when you lasso two items together, your weld tabs come up. So we want to weld those two. That's what it's going to look like welded. Let's do these and we'll, we'll trim them. And what that has done, it's completely made it different. So it just, it trimmed out some of the items. You want to do these two and you intersect them. It's done kind of the same thing, but kind of just the opposite. It left more of the star parts in there. So let's go to this one and we're going to simplify it. And what it has done, it hasn't really changed anything except for it took away some of these inner circle lines. If you want to do this, this is front minus back. If you want to do this, this is back minus front. So it's doing the opposite. And then this is a really neat one called boundary. And what it has done is taken a boundary and put it around your whole object. And what, how this is important that I think if you go up to effects, go to contour and let's just contour this 0 0.02 to the outside, hit apply. Let's zoom in here a little bit on these two items. Let's zoom in here real close. So what it's done is made a contour. So go up to a range, break contour apart. Click on the inside one and delete it. And then put this one back where it was. And I've got my nudge factor set real high to move those out of the way while I go. But click on it. Change my nudge factor to point zero zero one so I can get it really close. That's going to move it minutely. And what this has done, if you will turn that contour into a red hairline, and if these weren't, you know, hairlines and they and you made them thicker by going down here, clicking on that, and make them something other than a hairline and black double click on that well I've actually grabbed the red one so let's cancel that out and let's go to this star so now what it would do it would engrave all this you know, you could do this and you could engrave these. You could engrave that, have a circle around it, and then the laser would go back and cut out this SAR and the circle. Anyway, I hope that helped a little bit, and thank you for watching.